हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेल्डिंग एंड एंडिटी आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज एल्यूमिनियम एंड एल्यूमिनियम अलॉयज सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल if you have not done yet and press the bell icon also so if you press the bell icon you will get regular updates on my new videos i post two new videos every week on wednesday and saturday so you can get regular updates on my new videos if you press the bell icon also and finally i would request you to please like this video if you find this video useful for your career or useful for your knowledge and also share the link of this video with your friends and colleagues too so let's start the topic aluminum and aluminum alloys see aluminum is found on earth in its oxidized form known as bauxite so aluminum is present on the earth in plenty of amount in the form of bauxite and this bauxite is refined to produce alumina alumina is nothing but aluminum oxide which is also known as al2o3 so we get alumina from bauxite and finally we separate this oxygen from alumina to get pure aluminum with the help of electrolysis process also known as known as hall herold electrolysis process so with the help of this process we separate or we uh, dissociate the oxygen atoms from alumina <coughs> so this is the uh, process of getting aluminum from bauxite now <coughs> very briefly we'll know what are the properties which makes aluminum a very lucrative material so <coughs> just because of its highly resistant to corrosion non toxic good electrical and thermal conductivity non magnetic and good ductility at sub zero temperatures so these are some of the few <coughs> important properties which makes aluminum very lucrative material now i'll also tell you about the melting point of aluminum the melting point of pure aluminum is 660 degree celsius it is 120 degree fahrenheit also and the melting point of aluminum alloys varies from 480 degree celsius to 660 degree celsius so in fahrenheit it can be 900 degree fahrenheit to 1220 degree fahrenheit friends if you watch very carefully look very carefully you will see that melting point of pure aluminum is 660 degree celsius but melting point of its alloy varies from 480 degree to 660 means melting point of pure aluminum is always higher if compared to its alloys now the name of aluminum metals see if the aluminum is contains pure aluminum then its start name starts with one followed by three digits if the alloying element is copper then the name of that aluminum series starts with two and followed by three digits so what are the significance of these digits i'll explain later first let me tell you the alloying element name that is second third one is manganese and it starts with 3 silicon 4 magnesium 5 magnesium and silicon start with 6 zinc 7 and other elements for other elements 8 and unused 9 triple x is still unused so first we'll understand what this triple x means friends if the series is of pure aluminum group means one triple x series so one represents pure aluminum the second digit that is this x second digit indicates a consecutive modification of an original alloy suppose if you have a alloy 11100 now there is some modification in this alloy then this number that second digit will be changed and here we can write 1200 so like this we give a new consecutive number in a modified original alloy so this is the this is what the second digit indicates the last two digits indicates the minimum percentage of aluminum and how it indicates i'll explain a later in this video itself so this is about if it is a pure aluminum group and for alloying element group aluminum with other alloying elements from 2 triple x to 9 triple x from here from 2 to 9 there is some difference here the first digit represents the alloying element like if it is 2 it means that 
द अलॉइंग एलिमेंट इज थ्री इफ इट इज थ्री द अलॉइंग एलिमेंट इज मैग्नीज इफ फॉर अलॉइंग एलिमेंट इज यू नो फॉर 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 इट इज सिलीकॉन नाउ सेकेंड डिजिट इंडिकेट्स अ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ एन ओरिजिनल अलॉय सो सेकेंड डिजिट मीन्स द सेम इन बोथ दिस ग्रुप बट द लास्ट टू डिजिट्स हैव नो सिग्निफिकेंस इफ इट is if it is from 2 triple x series to 9 triple x series the last two digits has no significance at all it is given arbitrarily but if it is a pure aluminum group the last two digits shows the minimum percentage of aluminum so this is how the nomenclature of aluminum elements are made now we'll see the 1 triple x series so 1 triple x series as i told you earlier it is a pure aluminum group and the aluminium content must be more than 99% so minimum it is 99% then only it can fall in this group the ultimate tensile strength of one triple x series metal are 69 between 69 mega pascal to 186 mega pascal that is nothing but 10 ksi to 27 ksi and it has very superior corrosion resistance so it is suitable for specialized chemical tanks and pipings also it has very good electrical conductivity that is why it is used for making wires and cables also it has relatively as compared to other aluminum alloys it has relatively poor mechanical properties that's why it is not suitable for structural application and regarding welding it it can be welded with a similar 1 triple x filler metal series group or with a 4 triple x series filler metal group this 4 triple x series is designed for making filler metals only so the main element or main metals in 1 triple x series are 1060 1100 and 1350 so here you can see 1100 means this is a revision of 1 triple 0 and 1350 means this is a modification of 1250 means after 2 it is 13 so as i told you the last two digits indicates the percentage of aluminum so how it indicates see here we have 60 60 means the minimum aluminum which this element will contain will be 99.60 double zero means the minimum aluminum content should be 99.00 and 1350 means the minimum aluminum content should be at least you know 99.50 so this is how the last two digits indicates the aluminum content now as far as the application is concerned 1060 is used in chemical process equipment like tank and piping 1100 is used in decorative and architectural parts and 1350 is used in chemical conductor wire or cable since it has very good electrical conductivity now we'll read about the two triple x group series so two triple x series in two triple x series the alloying element is copper two indicates the copper so it is also known as, known as aluminum copper group and it has high strength over a wide range of temperature so since it has high strength of wide range of temperature it is very suitable for aircraft and aerospace application because aircraft and aerospace parts are subjected to varying range of temperatures now some of the alloys yes this is very important because some of the two triple x alloys are not weldable just because it is susceptible to hot cracking and stress corrosion cracking but only some not all so those which are weldable can be welded with two triple x series filler metal or with four triple x series filler metal so some of the important alloys are important metal which falls in this group is 2014 2017 2024 2036 2090 2218 2219 friends if you want to know the application of each element you can visit my website and you can read there my website is www.weldingandentity.com but as far as this video is concerned i'll tell you the application of 2218 because it is very important and it can be used in pistons engine cylinder head forging alloys So now we have finished two triple X series. We'll come to three triple X series. So three triple X series, the major, the main alloying element after aluminium is manganese. So manganese represents three, and it is also known as aluminium manganese alloy group. 
सो अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस सीरीज इज बिटवीन वन वन टेन मेगा पासकल टू एट्टी थ्री मेगा पासकल दैट इज नथिंग बट सिक्सटीन के एस आई टू फोर्टी वन के एस आई एंड इट हैज मॉडरेट स्ट्रेंथ गुड करोजन रेजिस्टेंस एक्सीलेंट फॉर्मेटिबिलिटी सुटेबल फॉर एलिवेटेड टेम्परेचर सिंस इट इज सुटेबल फॉर एलिवेटेड टेम्परेचर सो इट इज वेरी वाइडली यूज फॉर मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर्स ऑफ पावर प्लांट्स एंड अदर हीट एक्सचेंजर बिकॉज दे आर सब्जेक्टेड टू हाई टेम्परेचर्स नाउ सिंस इट इज हैज मॉडरेट स्ट्रेंथ दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर यू नो स्ट्रक्चरल एप्लीकेशंस एंड इट कैन बी वेल्डेड विथ वन ट्रिपल एक्स सीरीज फिलर मेटल फोर ट्रिपल एक्स एंड फाइव ट्रिपल एक्स सीरीज फिलर मेटल डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर केमिकल कंपोजिशन ना इंपॉर्टेंट मेटल्स और एलिमेंट्स इन दिस ग्रुप आर थ्री ट्रिपल थ्री डबल जीरो थ्री एंड थ्री डबल जीरो फोर थ्री डबल जीरो थ्री इज यूज इन प्रोसेस एंड फूड हैंडलिंग इक्विपमेंट केमिकल एंड पेट्रोलियम ड्रम्स एंड टैंक्स एंड थ्री डबल जीरो फोर आर यूज इन सीट मेटल विच रिक्वायर्स हायर स्ट्रेंथ देन थ्री जीरो थ्री नाउ आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग थ्री डबल जीरो थ्री विल रीड अबाउट फोर ट्रिपल एक्स सीरीज सो एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दिस सीरीज इज डिजाइंड टू बी यूज एज फिलर मेटल्स फॉर बोथ फ्यूजन एंड वेल्डिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग सो नथिंग मोर टू से सी इट हैज द अलॉइंग एलिमेंट एज सिलीकॉन सो ऑल्सो लोन एज एल्यूमिनियम सिलीकॉन अलॉय ग्रुप एंड द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इज बिटवीन वन सेवेंटी टू मेगा पासकल टू थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन मेगा पासकल इट इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी फाइव के एस आई टू फिफ्टी फाइव के एस आई नाउ यू रीड अबाउट फाइव ट्रिपल एक्स सीरीज सो फाइव ट्रिपल एक्स सीरीज द अलॉइंग एलिमेंट इज मैग्नीजियम सो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एल्यूमिनियम मैग्नीजियम अलॉय ग्रुप द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इज बिटवीन वन ट्वेंटी फोर मेगा पासकल टू थ्री फिफ्टी टू मेगा पासकल इट इज नथिंग बट एस एटीन के एस आई टू फिफ्टी वन के एस आई नाउ अमंग ऑल नॉट हीट ट्रिटेबल अलॉयज नॉट हीट ट्रिटेबल अलॉयज इट हैज हाइएस्ट स्ट्रेंथ it has good app weldability and it has a very wide application also it is used in structural work ship components vehicle bridges pressure vessels etc so the alloys which falls to this group are 5005 series 5050 5052 5652 5083 5154 5254 and 5456 and 5456 so here you can see 5154 then 5254 the only second digit is changing means 5254 is a modification of 5154 now 6 triple x series this 6 6 indicates magnesium and silicon together so it is a aluminium magnesium silicon alloy group now ultimate tensile strength is 124 mega pascal to 400 mega pascal that is 18 ksi to 58 ksi and can be welded with 4 triple x series and 5 triple x series so it has also got a very good application and the uh, you know metal which comes under this as 6009 6010 6013 6061 6063 6070 6101 6262 6351 among these 6061 has got very wide range of application because it has got very good strength very good corrosion resistance good formability good weldability so it is it can be used in structural architectural railway bridges marine etc if you want to know the applications of other metals also like 6090610 so you can visit my website and you can read all the applications now finally we have reached to the last series that is 7 triple x series and 7 indicates zinc so it is an aluminium zinc alloy group and it is it has the highest strength among all aluminium alloys highest strength so it is very suitable for high performance application like aircraft and aerospace components so aircraft and aerospace components need very high uh, they they are subjected to high performance so 7 triple x series is very suitable for them and it can be welded with 5 triple x series filler metal the important Uh, material in this uh, range in this group are 7004 7005 7039 7075 7079 and 7178 so friends if you want to read the application of these metals you can visit my website and read about these friends i hope you would like this video thank you very much